So in this question, we have a cosine and a sine added together, and we're asked for a sample rate, but not the Nyquist rate, because we're oversampling. So we want a, a, a rate that is 100, so 1 kilohertz higher than the Nyquist rate. We're oversampling, so there'll be a 1 kilohertz gap, a separation. We call it a guard band between adjacent replicas. So we need to first find the Nyquist rate and then add that one kilohertz. And I'll illustrate how that looks in the frequency domain. So the cosine has a frequency of one kilohertz and the sine has a frequency of two kilohertz. And the relative amplitudes are five and two. So if we were to sketch this in the frequency domain, then it would look something like this, we would have a amplitude of 5 and an amplitude of 2 <clears throat> at 1 and 2 kilohertz. So that's our message. This is x of t. Now when you sample it, you then have a spectral replica. So let me illustrate the spectrum. The spectrum might look something like this. So this is just just to imagine the shape of the spectrum. So we would imagine a similar kind of shape. Um, so something that looked something like this. And it would have spectral components of amplitude 2, and then 5, and then 5, and then two, because it would be symmetric, where you'd have your sample rate in the middle. So if I illustrate, this is my sample rate, then as the sample rate goes up and down, then that spectral replica, that copy, goes up and down. So if it was critically sampled, would have that, and would have the overlap between um, the replicas at the replica at 2 kilohertz and the message at 2 kilohertz. Um, whereas, if we were to oversample, we would have this guard band. So right now, we have this 1 kilohertz guard band. So that's my 1 kilohertz guard band. And to achieve that, the sample rate would have to be the Nyquist rate, which is 2 times 2, plus the guard band. So it's a 5 kilohertz sample rate. So to achieve a guard band of 1 kilohertz, I would need to sample at the Nyquist rate plus 1 kilohertz. So just to be clear, my guard band is this gap here, and that's my one kilohertz. So when you have a question like this, in order to find the suitable sample rate where we're oversampling, if you're given a guard band, you simply add that to the Nyquist rate.